from the NBC4 studios in high definition. This is NBC4 at 11, where accuracy matters. And then later, a local woman gets a shocking diagnosis, but the results can help many others with breast cancer. It sounds kind of creepy, but this procedure is becoming more and more popular. The use of cadaver skin. Now it's being used during common breast cancer and reconstruction procedures. It's giving women a new sense of confidence. Lucille Fuller had breast cancer. While that diagnosis six months ago changed her appearance, she's bald, thinner. It gave her something else. Now you have boobies. Fuller's breast cancer was found in an early stage, and Lucille opted for a double mastectomy and breast reconstruction, all at the same time. It's a common procedure where a surgeon removes the lump and breast, and during the same operation, a plastic surgeon begins the implant process. For Lucille, that meant part of the reconstruction, including tissue, from a cadaver. This is donated human tissue that's completely decellularized and all living aspects are stripped away. So it really functions as a scaffold for the patient's body to grow blood vessels into and absorb it as part of their own body. Lucille was not worried about using skin from a dead person. I wasn't concerned or anything. Um, because he said he's used it before and I had a lot of faith and confidence in my doctor. During the surgery, Dr. Jeffrey Donaldson inserts tissue expanders where a few weeks later he will insert saline and begin expanding the breasts. Allow the patient to have breast tissue present when she wakes up so that she has an appearance of a breast which is psychologically much more advantageous. I was very amused because it was like the inflated entire so you could actually see it rise and everything. For several months while undergoing chemotherapy, Lucille received saline injections to give her the breast size she wanted. The first time I went to have my expansion done, I went to work and then I left at lunch and when I came back I was two breast sizes larger and they said, okay, what happened when you left? You were flat, now you have boobies. Just recently, Lucille had her second surgery to remove the expanders and replace it with the implants.